Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. Today we're making a fun fold gift card holder and it opens up like this, okay? So one small note about this, the paper that I used on this has since retired, but we have new uh, designer series paper stacks in our new catalog. So you can use the Granny Apple Green uh, that we have in the new catalog, unless you're like me and you have a large stash of this old pack of paper. I loved it. Okay, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, okay, so here's the supplies for tonight's project. And we've got Granny Apple Green that is four and a quarter by 11. And then we have another piece that is three and a half by seven and a quarter. We have a scrap for die cutting. We have two pieces of Whisper White for stamping. And then we have two pieces of the Granny Apple Green Designer Series paper that's in the retiring pack of the Brights collection so of the six by six stacks. Okay, now, so what we're gonna do first is stamp. So I'm gonna stamp her, the kangaroo. I love her. You know what, in my defense, I don't think I used her because I was gonna use her for one of my bingo events and I didn't use her because the dies were on back order. So sometimes there's a reason why I don't use something and it's because it's on back order. Um, yeah, those, those crazy dies. Okay, so now she is gonna get cut out and this little baby one's gonna get cut out too. And I'm not saying I don't like flowers, I do, don't get me wrong, but, oops, every year I beg, 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 and beg and beg for stamps with animals. And um, they're just saying enough. <laughs> I don't know. I know some of y'all don't like them. I've had y'all email me. Some of you've told me, I don't like animal stamps. I'm like, that's okay. You don't have to. Not all people even like animals. One of my very best friends didn't know that she actually liked dogs. Two of my friends. Uh, okay, so we're going to color all of these. And I still need this white piece. It says scraps on it. We still need that. Um, that's for die cutting. I'm going to start, well, I'm using three uh, Stampin' Blend markers. So I'm using the light and the dark of Crumb Cake and then the light petal pink. <laughs> Okay, you already know I'm using the Kangaroo and Company bundle. Um, we are using um, these dies. So these scallop rectangles are gonna be in the scalloped contours dies. And yes, this is a flower stamp set bundle. You can see the flowers here, but man, these dies are fabulous. So it's all of these plus these two. Uh-oh, I just noticed my flowers are not there. I better go find them real quick. We're using the pierced blooms just for the teeny tiny flower. Yeah. Okay, so a plate one, a plate two, and the non-existent magnetic plate. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we're going to cut out the granny apple green first. Okay, 
Now we got more to do. I just don't want to lose my dies. Okay, there's. So now we're going to cut out the little kangaroo. This purple tape don't work no more. I kid you not, whoever changed it, they did not use the same formula. <laughs> Just saying. So I'm gonna use some Stampin' Up! washi tape. I know I've had a couple people email me and say the, that the new, um, the new purple tape isn't working. I agree. It's lost its stickiness for some reason. When they added the flowers, it took away the stickiness. <laughs> okay, there's that one. It's better to take more time doing this than to have to stamp and redo this. How's that? Is that straight? Hopefully. Now the only thing about the washi tape is that then sometimes that uh, stickiness is too strong and then you can rip your project. So just be careful if you use the washi tape because yeah. And now the little baby. You could put flowers in here instead of the baby if you want in her pouch, but Okay, two more, no, one more and we're done. We just gotta cut the white out of this one. Okay, we're done with the dies. Put that up. Yeah, ignore that, that's a butterfly. I decided not to use the butterfly, but I will show you it um, in a bit. Scraps. She's gonna get added in that little. The last time I made this, I used my X-Acto knife because I didn't use the dies. No wonder the dies run back order. It cuts that little pouch out automatically for you. Now, let me get the Simply Scored Scoring Tool. So we're gonna start with the four and a quarter by 11. We're gonna score this at three and a half and nine and then we're going to take the uh three and a half by seven and a quarter and we're going to score this at one and seven eighths and six and three quarters now i'm going to fold on the score lines let me get my phone folder Now, this one right here, we're gonna take this retiring circle punch. Oh, girl, don't get me started. So this piece here is gonna fold back and this is gonna fold forward. 
So on this one right here, we're gonna use our one and a half inch circle punch and cut that right there, okay? Now we're gonna put a uh, strip of sticky strip. What is this? Not sticky strip. We don't sell sticky strip anymore. Jeez, oh, Pete, I'm losing it. Tear and tape. Do y'all remember the sticky strip days? Um, and okay, so here and then down here. <laughs> I can't believe I caught, we have, how many years has it been that we've not had sticky strip? Okay, now get my take your pick tool. And the first thing I'm gonna do is place this here like this, okay? Can you see that? So if you'll notice, this score line here is right above this score line on this layer. See how that is? So what I'm gonna do is remove the tear and tape here, and then I'm gonna fold this down, okay? So make sure you start at the top, making sure it's lined up. And then I'm gonna fold this down just like that, okay? Um, and now that's how it's gonna look, okay? See? Now we're gonna fold this over like that. So we're gonna remove the backing. Um, the scallop dies are from the new catalog and it's called Scallop Contours Dies. It's one of those flower bundles that we could order. I ordered it for the dyes. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, so watch how this works, okay? Let me put this back in here. So, see? It'll make more sense once we start to decorate it, okay? We're gonna take the designer series paper and we're gonna add it to the front. So I'm just gonna get my liquid glue. <laughs> what did I say funny? Okay, let's see. I love this paper. And now this one. For this, well, let's go ahead and add the, the basic white. I got it backwards, upside down. These have completely different stitch lines. If you will look really closely, this one has a really fine stitch and this one has dashes. It don't matter to me, I love them. So now, we're only gonna put adhesive on the top part because we wanna be able to open this card up, okay? Thanks, Kathy. There's that part. So here's what it looks like right now. You want to add your ribbon to keep this part closed, but not so tightly that this part don't raise up. Does that make sense? So you wanna hold this together so it goes around. Now I just get to tie another bow.
Now here's what you have to do. You have to slide your ribbon over to the side and get your bow exactly right. Um, and then trim the ends of your ribbon because if you don't, then this is why it keeps it closed though. So you don't wanna completely trim the ends off. You just wanna kinda of turn it to the side like that, okay? Now we're gonna add her here. And so we're just gonna add some liquid glue. And then we're gonna add the greeting. You know, when I first read this, I thought this was an Easter, um, I'm like, no, kangaroos hop. It's not an Easter greeting. It's an any any greeting you want it to be. They're just hopping by to say hi because they hop. <laughs> yes, I'm cracking up because I really did think that it was just for Easter, but it's really not. They're just hopping by to say hi. And now we're gonna add one little flower because we gotta add a little bit of bling to this thing. Now I'll show you the butterfly in just a minute that you could use. Um, and here comes another new product that we're using. This is the um, In Color Jewels, I love them. And this color right here, what color is that? I've already forgotten this um, pale papaya. Someone asked if it compared to grapefruit grove. No, it's a completely different color. I don't have any grapefruit grove, but I can tell you 100% that it's a lot lighter. So I'm taking one of those. It looks really good with the granny apple green. You could use our regular rhinestones, but I like that it's like a pale yellow color. So now we're gonna take our gift card. I'm gonna raise this up. This is gonna go in here. That's what your um, half circle's for, is to slide the gift card in there. Okay, so let's raise the ribbon up. That kind of keeps it closed. Your, your ribbon is what keeps it closed. You could do a belly band if you want, um, okay, so it raises up and it so it just pops up, lifts the uh, the gift card. Pretty cute, right? And then here's the one I made earlier today. I think they're pretty identical, right? And if you need anything, uh, let me know. Y'all have a great night.